I used to be so frightened when the policeman stopped me, man, but it's the best feeling in the world when you know you haven't had a drink in 10 days. Just come from dinner with a big plate of food full of garlic. <laughs> this man want to smell my breath. Before John Witherspoon would become a TV and film legend appearing in the Friday franchise, The Wayans Brothers, Little Nicky, Soul Plane, and over a 10 year run on the cult animated TV series, The Boondocks. Hey boy! Granddad, you ready to come home? Are you kidding? I'm having a great time. Woo! <laughs> hey, little girl, stop tickling me. You little sweet thing got them pretty eyes. Before John Witherspoon would coin the popular catchphrases, bang, 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 yeah, boy, you gotta coordinate them more. Well, I heard at your house you are whipped. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be whipped, you gotta bang, 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 bang. Before John Pops Witherspoon would clock in over 200,000 followers on Instagram and another 175,000 subscribers on YouTube, which ain't bad for a man in his 70s. Get that pussy! Get that money! Get that drink you have to be a map go run it! Best known for his role as Willie Jones in the Friday franchise for an entire generation of urban youths. Well, John, he was seen as a father figure and he wore that notoriety as a badge of honor, referring to himself as Pops on his Instagram page. People also joke, much like Morgan Freeman, that he looked old his entire life, to which he hilariously replied via Instagram, since y'all wanna say I've been old my whole life, here's a picture of me at 17. Woman used to fall at my feet and they still do and I'm still a player. Now his television and film career, it spanned five decades. He was 77 years old at the time of his passing and he leaves behind his wife and his two sons. You know what I give him, uh, JD, for, for a two, bar, two uh, haircuts? What? $100. That's a lot of money. That's pretty good. That's good for him. That's what he great. Dad is mad because he used to wear milk cartons to school on his feet. <laughs> now I've actually met his eldest son, JD, at a YouTube event a couple years back. Our thoughts and prayers are with his friends and family. There have also been plenty of celebrities who have shared their condolences on his passing, so we'll share those a little later in this video. Hey guys, it's uh, it's with the utmost respect that we're making this video on John Witherspoon as we pay tribute to his life, his career, and his legacy, detailing his full story here for you on Before They Were Gone. Now these videos, they are made with the utmost respect and in an effort to spread the word about his many accomplishments and incredible talent, because there's a lot of people out there who want to know more. Now when someone passes away, we find that most news outlets, they just give you the Coles notes. And here we like to do a, something well, a little more detailed. We dig up everything we can find and we put in the effort to show them the most respect we can. Please spread the love and leave a positive message in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. John Witherspoon was born on January 27, 1942 in Detroit, Michigan. Now apparently there was a mix up at the hospital and the nurses, well they named some of his siblings Weatherspoon and the others Witherspoon, not knowing the proper spelling. So he might be a Witherspoon or a Weatherspoon. I don't even think he's too sure. They just changed some of your names. No, they didn't change them. At birth it was like that. Okay. So I got brothers who are Witherspoon and Weatherspoons. Okay. But you're a Witherspoon. I'm a Witherspoon. Okay. But I think I might have been a Weatherspoon in the beginning. <laughs> he was born one of 11 siblings, nine boys and two girls, and a few of them went on to have careers in Motown, others in broadcasting, and one as a pastor. Now in his late teens and early 20s, he was living with his brother who took an interest in acting. Now John, he liked the idea and he signed up for some Shakespeare classes, and he fell in love with performance. Now he was also apparently a model. In a throwback photo on his Instagram page, it looked like he was a black tennis superstar stud. He could like sell you some rackets or some shampoo. He could sell you anything. Guy looked good. Eventually his knack for the performing arts had got him involved in stand-up comedy, starting out in Detroit, then moving to New York City, and he started earning enough money to support himself while he worked day shifts selling knives. Now eventually his work, it led him to Los Angeles after a short stint in Las Vegas, where he lost all of his money and was down to his last dollar. I said, man, I might be gonna throw this thing in the machine. I threw it in a, one of them uh, cause machines. That thing said, <laughs> I said, that thing, I got seven thousand dollars. Wow, ain't that a back then? Yeah, so that's more and like paid me cash. So that's like twenty thousand a day. Yeah, he gave me cash. In L.A., he began working as an MC for a short period of time and as a security guard at the Comedy Store on Sunset Boulevard. It appears he was also on the basketball team. Now there, he made strong ties with many of the upcoming acts of the time. We're talking Bill Cosby, Eddie Murphy, Tim Reed, Robin Williams, Jay Leno, and David Letterman. Now it turns out David is actually the godfather to his two sons. Now his film and television career it started back in 1977 with various uncredited roles on The Richard Pryor Show, and there he was a recurring character. 
Tiger. This is new to me. Uh, I'm from Detroit. And when, <laughs> and when we say we roast somebody, we actually roast somebody. <laughs> The next year, he booked a role on The Incredible Hulk in the role of Tom. The episode was titled Final Round. You got the sit up here now. You got the move now. Come on. Every day there's something to do. I paid my last $300 for you and you just sitting up here. Take it easy, Tommy, huh? That ain't no way to fix it. I know how to fix it. I'll drive them to a wall and fix it. That'll fix it. Hey, come on. Get inside. Come on. Get in. Get in. Uh, Rocky, give me a shot. I've been working on it two hours. Now, John figured out pretty early on that he was an improv actor, and he would basically use the script as guidelines and tell the directors to let the magic flow out of him while he worked his scenes. Now, we booked work consistently in shows like Hill Street Blues, L.A. Law, Fatal Instinct, and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. How many times did you put those rusty, rusty lips on my daughter? With all due respect, sir, I think that's between me and Lisa. Wrong again. <laughs> He married in 1988 to Angela Robinson, and he remained a one-woman man. I had to get married, man. Living in Hollywood as a bachelor was driving me crazy. Women would lie to me so much. Why would women lie so much in Hollywood? I dated a woman a whole year before I met my wife. I did not know my girlfriend was bald-headed. Can you imagine the shock when I saw that bald head for the first time? And guess how I found out she was bald-headed? On the roller coaster. In 1990, he landed the role in the urban comedy House Party. Then would come one of his most iconic roles to date. Now for his work in the first Friday film, which was in 1995, well he earned just $10,000. Five years later, he took home a cool $400,000, that was in Next Friday, and then in 2002 he finally got paid. He banked $1 million for Friday after Next. Uh, I'm Craig's daddy, uh, Willie Jones. Uh, and as you know, we have a little get-together upstairs, and the bathrooms are jammed. Oh, I like the way you got that lined up. More notable roles would continue, including Bullworth, the Wayans brothers, and there he would play the boy's father, John Pops Williams. <laughs> Don't you ever talk about my mother that way. <laughs> oh, I ain't talking about your mama. Talk about that rat that died under my porch. <laughs> oh. Did you just smack me? <laughs> Other roles included Lil Nicky, a 10-year run on the cult animated TV series The Boondocks. He was also in Soul Plane, where his wife Angela, well, she was the actress who actually played his on-screen companion. I don't know what smells better, this meal or your delightful perfume. Thank you. You're too kind. Now, his family, they credited him for his endless hard work, and he continued working well into his 70s. There was the Adult Swim's Black Jesus and the Obama-inspired sitcom The First Family. In fact, he even got into the digital space collaborating with YouTubers like Dashy XP and appearing on the Joe Rogan podcast. It's been a long time, my friend. Oh, man, it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You're hilarious. It was a, so it's a, a pleasure a having you on here. Huh? Yep, that's what we're doing. Yes, <laughs> a podcast. You guys are going to do it, too. We just we got to come up with a name. <laughs> let me know. I'll have you back on. We can just talk to your dad. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. And with the help of his son, JD, he even got his own cooking show titled Cooking for Poor People, which, of course, they posted to YouTube. Hey, y'all. How you doing? It's a John Witherspoon again, and I'm cooking for poor people. Because when you're hungry... Everything tastes good. Woo! Now, John was set to reprise his role in Last Friday, but the project, it was in pre-production and had yet to start filming. Now, he passed away on October 29, 2019 in his Los Angeles home. Now, his family, they released a statement. It is with deep sadness that we have to tweet this, but our husband and father, John Witherspoon, has passed away. He was a legend in the entertainment industry and a father figure to all who watched him over the years. We love you, Pops, always and forever, the Witherspoon family. Now his son JD, he also took to Instagram with a post that read, So my dad died today, and honestly, I'm not sure how to feel. I'm sad, but I'm also happy for all the great times we had together. We'd roast each other like homies more than father and son, and I really love that about us. In all seriousness, I work as hard as I do thanks to seeing him grind for literally 77 years of his life, and I'm damn proud to be his son. If I have even half the career and impact he has had on people, I'll be very happy. His legacy will live on through me, my family, his friends, and everyone else who was touched by him here on Earth. He was my best friend and my hero. I love you, Dad. I'll miss you, JD. Now, of course, tweets began to roll in from Hollywood friends. Ice Cube, he tweeted out, 
I'm devastated over the passing of John Witherspoon. Life won't be as funny without him. Chance the Rapper, he posted, God bless John Witherspoon, the definition of an icon. Wow. Chuck D stated, it's where I first remembered the great John Witherspoon on the screen at Robert Townsend Hollywood Shuffle. RIP, a funny man. Marlon Wayans, well, he had a whole lot to say. I'm sad, broken, hurt, yet extremely grateful to God that I got to spend five years of my life working with one of the funniest, sweetest, wisest, humblest, loving man. Johnny Witherspoon, you were my TV dad and my mentor and my friend. I miss you already. Something don't feel right. This is heavy on my heart. Anyone that knows me knows how much I love pops. You have a strong wife and great kids. What an amazing family. Your boys damn near grew up on the Wayans bro set. They'll always be like my little brothers and sons. I will pass on all the jewels that you bestowed onto us. Thank you, God, for the many, many laughs that we shared on and off the set. You got all the keys, and I know you got to heaven's gate. Anytime I want to laugh or to see you, I'm going to put on an episode of the Wayans Bros and laugh until I cry. I miss already. Hope you're dancing up in heaven with ugly white shoes on. Pops, pops, sugar pops. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap up this video here. If you wanna pay respects or just share your like fondest memory of John Witherspoon in the comments down below, I feel like other people will appreciate that. They'll go back and watch some of his work. And uh, well, that's, you know, we're just trying to pay tribute. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. My name is Michael McCredden. It's been a long time since we've done it before they were gone. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in another video.